Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. <clears throat> In case any of you were wondering, that's the cutlass I had before. The one that I rolled. That was my my pride and joy, I guess you'd say. And this is my senior picture. I, I look like such a douche. But, uh, no, well, that was the baby right there. I was going to do this one that color, but with that vinyl top on it, I don't... I was going to strip it off, but said to hell with it. I'm just going to go the same color, but... Nope, that was my car, in case any of you guys were wondering. And I got pictures of it after I wrecked it, but... I'm not sure where they're at. I'll see if I can round them up and show you. It was pretty nasty. The uh, roof line was smashed down to the top of the cross the mirror. All the way from the driver's side to the passenger side. I had to kick out this back win window just to get out and I didn't have my seat belt on and it's a good thing I didn't because when I felt it starting to go I laid across the seat and held on and you know with no window frame around your doors on these cutlasses and you know Monty's Grand Prix whatever there's no restraint for the crunch I mean you got the pillar there and the pillar there but that doesn't do nothing that's a heavy car but no well, that's the car so I'd show you quick Okay, YouTube, here's a, <clears throat> on these uh, inserts right here for your door strap, uh, this is the easy, easiest way I've found to get these off. This, uh, where's that, right here is a little dent pick, uh, where's that, it's got a long end right there. The easiest way I've found to get these off, I mean you can stick a screwdriver right back here and pull it off but there's actually two layers there one is the clip and one is the wood grain what I found works the best is you might be able to use a coat hanger or something I'm not sure but this little deal works pretty slick you just stuff it in between the strap here and then you'll be able to feel where that clip is and just roll it around and wiggle it out and it's uh you don't break them or nothing and then when you put it back on put the back in first seems to work easiest for me and then just give it a little dump, little bump and it's good to go it's the easiest way I've found to get them out so. alright here are gonna be a couple little clips on how to get your door panel off of an 86 cutlass I would about imagine all the 80s cutlasses are pretty similar along with really any new cars these days but you start you can start wherever you want but this is the best place for me to start uh, you're well it didn't cooperate with me alright anyway this your armrest here has two screws down in it Phillips head pop them out and then your armrest slides forwards and then off because that little tab right there fits in right there and then that one there slides into there so when you put it back on you need to put it in push it all the way to the back and then slide it back and then I don't know if you can see it but your holes are lined up start by taking that off and your two screws out of your window buttons or if you don't have electric windows, what you can use on your crank is, I don't know if we'll find it, but uh, oh, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? Right here. This right here is a GM door handle remover. And what you're going to find, you're going to have to get a flashlight and kind of pry back behind your uh, your window crank. But you're going to find this little deal. It looks like this. Kind of like a horseshoe deal. Then you'll slide this down. And these two hooks here are going to grab right here and split open this up then you'll be able to pull your door handle off and your spring sometimes it'll stay in your hooks and sometimes it won't you just have to keep an eye on it because sometimes the little bastards go flying on you but okay that gets you to there 
then when you pop these two covers off, which I made a little clip of that too, uh, you got four, uh, God damn, what do I want to say? Phillips head. Phillips head screws in there. And then this will loosen up the whole panel. And you don't need one of these, but they're nice. A door trim tool, because these little tabs in here, you slide this right back to where your hole is, and then pop it. And usually you'll get them out, sometimes they'll break. It's not bad to have a few extras. I think I got some in my toolbox. But there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven of them <clears throat> all the way around. Once you get a couple done, you can probably just pop it by hand. Uh, and uh, that's how you get the door off. And then you gotta pull it down a little bit, which it might be easier for me to take the top off first, which I'll probably do that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, your top piece, which is right here, sits down. Let's see if I can do this here. All right, it sits down over your window lip. Then once you get all the screws and clips loose, all you do is wiggle this back and forth. It'll pop up, then get that out of the way. And then this one, if you haven't already gotten your locks or your mirror thing out, you can, you can get this panel loose before you take them out. And what you do is just start wiggling it back and forth. It'll break free and then move your door handle forwards and just keep sliding your whole panel to the front. Eventually it'll come out and then you'll have all this room here. You can get right at your clips. So that is a door removal on my 86 Cutlass. Should work for, I'd say all the 80s. So peace out. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the car. My battery's gonna die, so I gotta make this quick. I got it painted last night. I masked it off so I could do the jams and the car all at once. Turned out really clean. Hopefully the paint jobs or the clear job's gonna turn out just as clean, I hope. Save on sanding and buff time, so. Uh, yeah, there it is. Really fucking clean, really, really clean. And that's how I got my mirrors mounted on a fucking box because we don't have any stands or nothing, so. Nope, I'm gonna make this little clip short. That way I can show you when it's cleared. Peace out.